In this lecture, we are going to study about pointers and constant. So in the previous lecture, we have studied about references to const and we have seen how they work. So similarly, we also have to see how pointers and constants work together. So that is what we are going to study in this lecture. So let's get started. So talking about pointers and constants, like references, we can also define pointers that point to either constant or non-constant types. So when we discuss about references, we saw that references could point to constant or non-constant types. So similarly, we can also define pointers that point to either constant or non-constant types. So just recall what we have studied about pointers before. So we said that pointers, they point to some other objects. Pointers actually store the address of another object and we say that pointers point to that object whose address is stored in the pointer. So pointers can point to either constant or non-constant types. So like a reference to const, a pointer to const may not be used to change the object to which the pointer points. So when we discussed about reference to constants, we have seen that references to constants cannot be used to change the object to which it is bound to. So we know that references to constants are also bound to a certain object, but unlike ordinary references, we could not use the references to const for changing the object to which it is bound. So just like that, even in case of pointers to constants, we cannot use pointers to change the object to which the pointer points. So if you remember when we studied about the ordinary or the normal pointers, we saw that pointers will be pointing to a certain object and we could change the value of that object using the pointers. But in case of pointers to constants, that will not be possible. So we may store the address of a constant object only in a pointer to const. So this is a very important thing to remember. If you want to store the address of a constant object, then you have to use a pointer to const. So pointer to const has to be used for storing addresses of constant objects and we will not be able to store the address of constant objects to normal pointers. They have to be pointers to constants. Okay, so keep these things in mind and keeping these things in mind, let us take some examples. So coming to the examples, here I am declaring a constant variable of the type double. So it is called pi. So the name of the object is pi and it is of the type double and it is a constant. And we are initializing it with the value 3.14. So pi is a constant, so its value may not be changed. So this is a normal concept of const qualifier that we have already studied. Okay, next. Now here I am declaring a pointer. So the name of the pointer is ptr and how do I know it is a pointer? Because it is preceded with the asterisk symbol. So ptr is a pointer which is also of the type double and I am storing the address of pi to it. So how do I know it is the address of pi? Because it is preceded with the ampersand operator which is known as the address of operator. So the address of pi which is also of the type double that we are trying to store it to ptr. But here it is going to throw an error. What is the error? The error says that ptr is a plain pointer. So remember the point that we have discussed in the previous slide. If you want to store the address of a constant object to a pointer, then the pointer also has to be a pointer to const. But here this is a normal pointer of the type double. So because of that, we cannot store the address of this pi, which is a constant type. So how should we do it? Here is the correct way of doing it. So this is the right way of doing it. We declare a pointer called cptr. So the name can be anything. And this is of the type double. And then here we are specifying the const keyword, which says that this cptr is a pointer which can point to an object, which is also of the constant double type. So here we can store the address of pi. So what is pi? pi is a constant double type. So here we mentioned that the cptr will point to an object of the type constant double. So cptr may point to a double that is a constant. So this is the way you have to declare the pointers if you want to store the address of a constant type to that pointer. Okay, now next here I am trying to change the value of cptr to 42. So if this was a normal pointer, what would have happened? So we saw that in case of normal pointers, when we define a pointer, we use the asterisk symbol like this. But later on, if you use the asterisk symbol, 
then that signifies the value that is stored in the object that is pointed by that pointer. So essentially what should this asterisk CPTR mean? Asterisk CPTR actually means that it is the value that is stored in the address that is pointed by CPTR. So what is pointed by CPTR? CPTR points to the address of PI. So what is PI? Here is PI. What is the value in PI? It is 3.14. So we are trying to change this 3.14 to 42 over here. But that will not be possible. Why? As we said, we cannot assign to the pointer CPTR. So we, as we already said, pointers to const cannot be used for changing the value of the object to which it points. So this thing is not possible in case of pointers to const. Okay. Now next here I am declaring a normal variable called dval of the type double and I am initializing it with the value 3.14. So it is a double and its value can be changed. It is a normal variable. Alright. So now here I am saying cptr equal to the address of dval. So here I am changing the address that is being held by cptr. Essentially I am making cptr point to a different object now. Here we see cptr was pointing to pi. So the address of pi was what was stored in cptr. But here I am changing that to the address of dval now. So cptr is now pointing to dval. Now you may have a question in your mind. Why didn't this throw an error? Because we mentioned that it is a constant here, but we are changing the value of cptr. So here is an important thing to remember. Whenever we are defining a pointer like this, this constant keyword that appears here does not mean that the pointer itself is constant. It only means that the object to which the pointer points will be a constant double. So that's what it means. So don't get confused thinking that the pointer itself is a constant. The pointer can be made to point to even something else later on. But it can only be made to point to constant double type objects. So that is why we are able to make cptr point to a different object over here. But remember that you can't change the value of dval through cptr because cptr is a pointer to const which is defined over here and we already said that pointers to const cannot be used for changing the values of the object to which it points. Okay. So these are some examples about pointers and const. So keep in mind this very important thing which I said. cptr here it is not a constant pointer. It is just pointing to a constant double type. Now is it possible to have a constant pointer itself? Can we make the pointer itself constant? That is the next thing that we have to answer. So coming to constant pointers, as there is a topic like this, you must have understood that yes, it is possible to have pointers that are constants themselves. So let's see how they work. So unlike references, pointers are objects. So when we studied about pointers itself, we already said that pointers by themselves, they are objects unlike references. So as with any other object type, we can have a pointer that is itself a constant. So it is possible to have pointers who are constants by themselves. So like any other constant object, a constant pointer must be initialized and once initialized, its value, that is the address that it holds, may not be changed. So when we studied about constant objects, we said that constant objects must always be initialized. So similarly, constant pointers also must always be initialized while they are created. And once they are initialized, their value cannot be changed. So what is the value that is being held in a pointer? It will be the address of something. So the address that it holds cannot be changed. Why? Because it is a constant pointer. Now, how do we know that it is a constant pointer? How can we tell from the syntax that it is not just a pointer that is pointing to a constant object, but it is a constant pointer itself? So the indication is that the const keyword will appear after the asterisk symbol. So if it is a constant pointer itself, then we can see in the syntax that the const keyword will appear just after the asterisk symbol. So we will take examples to make it clear. So this placement indicates that it is the pointer, not the pointed to type that is constant. So if you see this kind of a syntax, then it means that it is a pointer itself that is the constant and not the object to which the pointer is pointing to. So let us keep this in mind and take a few examples to understand it better. So here in this example, I am declaring a variable called C-U-R-E-R-R. -R. So let's just call it cur-er. So what is this cur-er? 
So we see that it is preceded by the const keyword and then we have the asterisk symbol over here and then int is there. So here we see that just after the asterisk symbol we are having the const keyword. So the const is appearing just after the asterisk symbol. So what does it signify? It signifies that this curr is a constant pointer and it is of the type integer. And we are initializing it with the address of some variable or object called rnum. Okay. So curr will always point to rnum. Why? Because curr itself is a constant pointer. So it is a constant pointer and it will always point to rnum. We cannot change what it points to because it is a constant pointer. Now here I am declaring another variable called pi which is of the type double and it is a constant and I am initializing it with the value 3.14159. So this is a normal declaration of a double constant type variable. Now here I am declaring another variable called pip. Now if you look at this pip you see that it is also preceded by the const keyword and then the asterisk symbol is over here. So we again see that const is appearing just after the asterisk symbol. So what does it signify? It signifies that pip is a constant pointer and here we see const double again. So what does this mean? It means that this pointer pip will be pointing to objects of the type constant double. So we are initializing it with the address of pi. So what is pi? We see that pi is a variable that already exists and it is a constant double. So we see that pip is holding the address of pi which is a constant double and then pip itself is a constant pointer. So pip is a constant pointer to a constant object. So we see two const keywords appearing here. So this const keyword over here which appears just after the asterisk symbol signifies that pip is a constant pointer. And then this const over here tells us that the address or the object to which this pip is going to point to that is also going to be a constant double type. So keep these things in mind. So when I was explaining these declarations, you saw that I was going from right to left. I was first talking about pip, then const, then asterisk, then double and then const. I was going this way because it is easier to understand these declarations if you read them from right to left. So let us practice reading it from right to left. So as I said, read these declarations from right to left for easy understanding. So here is the first declaration that we saw in the previous slide. So we will read it from right to left like this. So curr is the name of the pointer. So let's leave that. So here we are having this const keyword. So what does this signify? The symbol closest to curr is const which means that curr itself will be a const object. So this const which is appearing just before this curr is telling us that this curr itself is a constant type object. And then we are having this asterisk symbol. So what does this signify? The asterisk means that curr is a constant pointer. So we saw const and we saw this asterisk symbol which signifies that curr is a constant pointer. And then we have integer over here. So what does this mean? So this integer signifies that it is a base type of declaration. So curr is a constant pointer to an object of type integer. So that means that curr is a constant pointer. And then what does this pointer hold? What can it hold? What can it point to? It can point to objects of the type integer. So this rnum. So we see that it is storing the address of rnum. So this rnum will be an object of the type integer because this curr can store the address of integer objects. Okay. So that was the first one. So let's take a look at even the second declaration that we saw. So this was the second declaration that we saw. Const double asterisk const pip equal to ampersand pi. Okay, so let's see and analyze this. So here pip is the name and then here we have this const keyword. So what does this tell us? Symbol closest to pip is const which means that pip itself will be a constant object. So this const keyword which appears just before pip is telling us that pip itself is a constant object. Then we have the asterisk symbol which is telling us that pip is a constant pointer. So this asterisk and point together tells us that pip is a constant pointer. Okay, then we have const double here. So what does this mean? Const double which is the base type of declaration tells us that pip is a constant pointer to an object of type constant double. So what we understand is that pip is a constant pointer and then what can pip point to? What are the addresses that can be stored in pip? So pip can point to 
other objects which are of the type double and which are also constants. So in the previous examples that we took, we saw that pi was a constant double type object. So the address of this constant double type can be stored in pip, which itself is a constant pointer. So this is how you can read and understand these declarations. Okay, so with that, I hope you have understood what are the differences between normal pointers to constants and what are constant pointers. So remember that constant pointers are pointers that are constant type themselves. So keep this in mind about constant pointers. So with that, I hope you have understood the topics that we discussed about pointers to constants. And I hope this lecture is clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.